Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Ayusi Rafadli and I am from ICP of Science Education. I will tell you a video. The title is This video tells about Judy Wills, a neurologist who gets traveled to school to become a teacher. She applied what she know about the train to the classroom and found that just making subtle changes easy. That anyone could do good kids back in the voluntary behavior and the and the learn easily and they were successful their mindset change. The not neurologist turn educator talks about the science boredom, how to get student attention and the most important lesson for 21 century learning. There's a part of brain that is an emotional filter. It's called amygdala. It's part of the limbic system. And what information comes into the brain, it will go someplace in the brain. But this switching station in the amygdala determines where's going into the brain. So you have information coming in and the metabolic state of amygdala. How hyperactive is, how much is processing, how much processing, how much energy is using will determine where it conducts information. So if a person in a state of stress, the amygdala gets highly active. The question of attention is, when the teacher curious about their a part of the brain that decide pretty on a low level what information get our attention and the way it work it's exactly same and human as is it in animal is the very first place that information enters the brain so what do animals need in in the will to let in what sensory input what change in their environment so if there's something new in the classroom a new picture a great bulletin board something that interesting something that captures this curiosity so when you walking backwards before you do negative number that is so interesting the kids the kids want to know why so thinking about getting attention means getting their curiosity so they want to know what you have to teach how do you get students to focus their attention you've gotten it the curious but how do you get them to focus on something that's particularly important if you want students to pay particular attention have a signal just the way animals respond to signal so if it's important if it's like level one important i will pick up my green which means all of the get them to pick up their green so it's novelty it's change it's color and it's emphasized and that's why they know what's important so they will write in green i'll write in green they write in green and it's goes up if it's more important if i want to say pay less of attention and i'll use the yellow and super super attention i'll use the red so they are engaged they are involved and they are participating and they have some way to focus in their notes so really important know that we know about this filter to make sure that the classroom safe and uh, environment the children feel safe socially have uh, emotionally and safe to participate academically we know only the person who thinks learn. If you don't participate the brain doesn't get to use its great 
prediction in memory. Apparatus has switched to do with the neuroplasticity of learning. But there's one particular requirement. You must uh, participate, you must make a prediction, you must basically answer the question. Children will enter the 21st century. The opportunities and the challenge with more than just the facts but with but with the tools to help them. The toolkit is an executive function. It's in the prefrontal cortex, the higher brain, the thinking brain, the memory building brain, the emotional analytical brain. The prefrontal cortex is the part less of the brain to mature the main alienation that gets stronger and stronger the network that take hold that happen at the critics that effort in someone about age 8 and 16 and it in continuous on at pretty good rate until 25 it never stops that's the ability to change our brain. So, in the 21st century, there, go, there are going to the problems that even now that exist. There are going to be opportunities that we don't even know exist. So, what will they need? The executive function, judgment, critical analysis, Having kids go to website that you pick out and determine is this accurate? How do we know that is true? The 21st century, my needs, and the way to do the best in school to give kids the opportunities to exercise those muscles to build the, fun the function of long-term goal planning, risk assessment, evolution, critical analysis, and problem solving. That's the best training for the 21st century world. We have some concern parent teachers have a lot some concern of the amount of time kids play on computer, play with their video games. What is that happening? in a video game in the brain and how does that turn into a classroom models first of all the video game you enter it at level 1 on a 10 level video game you go right to level 2 if you can do the text of the level 2 without any effort you just do it you go right to level 3. Let's say at level 3, there's a text that you don't really know how to do. Then you're at your achievable challenge level, where, where as if it made you stay at level 1 for 2 hours on your in the classroom. And you already know how to multiply play five times five times five and yet the class is doing repetition that of drill first of all your brain is going to get into a stress state and there's not going any to be interest the brain knows that there is no fun in it because not there is no prediction there is no reward in classroom thinking about what level is appropriate for each child. What is a achievable challenge level and doing as much as you can to differentiate so they're in groups at that level and showing them their incremental progress toward a goal throughout the learning period. So Judy Wills wants to make children not get to bored by learning using by using the video game methods. And Judy Wills 
also uh, want to make change the child the children uh, mindset about learning